how do we balance work and parenting when all your office is in your home? And if the kids scream, guess what? I work from home with my kids home. <laughs> so I'm the mom of three children. I spread mine out. So I have a 10 year old, a five year, a six year old and a one year old. And we are all in our home coexisting because of COVID-19. Now I've been working from home for over 10 years. I, um, Decided not to go back to work in the office when my first son was born in September of 2009. And so over these 10 years, I have learned some techniques that I try to follow every day. Um, and with these techniques, you can really, you can manage it. Even if your kids don't go to daycare, even if you don't have a babysitter, you know, some days I have really great productive days, and it, it's only those days that I follow what I know works. And so, so let's get into it. Um, the first thing that I learned uh, is, you know, we work remotely, and we are afforded certain privileges because we work remotely. And if you don't take advantage of those privileges, it becomes even harder to manage the parenting and working remotely. So number one, take advantage of the freedom to choose where you live and work. So I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my family and I live on Hatteras Island, and if you haven't visited there, you really, really should because it's beautiful here. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. We live, you know, we're a couple minute walk from the beach. We sail, we surf, we fish. Um, it's beautiful. This is a place that other people come to vacation, but we make it our home. And that was an intentional decision, um, one that we are afforded because my husband's a boat builder, which means he has a, an inherent need to be on the coast, and I work remotely. And so we said, hey, you know, Let's, let's, let's go to the Outer Banks and find that spot on the Outer Banks that, that we're going to raise our family. And so here we are. So live somewhere that inspires you. Um, you have to work to live. You can never live to work. And I have to check myself regularly that I'm, I'm working to live. Um, build active hobbies. Um, you want hobbies that are very different to your work, right? Because all of those signals, they, they ring true internally and they ring true to your tr children as well, right? My children know that my computer is my work, right? And that I have to do it. So I don't blur that line. I try very hard not to. If, if and when you see me on social media... It is either two things. I'm either sharing pictures of my kids or I'm like on Twitter or LinkedIn doing something that's work related, promoting myself or my work so that I can continue to provide for my family. So I don't blur the two. I am not a hobbyist on the computer. I don't play computer games. I really don't even watch that much TV. Like I am a no device kind of a gal outside of work. Um, and that's because I've just learned to signal to myself that work is over and signal to my children that work is over by being deviceless. We go outside or we play board games. Um, so keep that line clear so that everyone knows when mommy's working and when she's not. The two big thing is you have to take advantage of flexible work hours. So it may sound absurd, but I work from 3.30 in the morning until seven in the morning, and I do that most every day that's a work day. Now, why 3.30 to 7 a.m.? Because I can do that without my children awake. So I don't feel like I have to stop what I'm doing and give them attention. They don't interrupt me. About 3.30 in the morning or four every day, I get up out of bed, I make my coffee, 
I meditate a little bit, I pray a little bit, I read and study a little bit, and then I sit down to write code. And yeah. what's great about I do the same for them. So sometime between 2.30 and 3.30 every day, I set aside mom time. And that's nice because it's before my husband gets home from work. And as soon as he gets home from work, then it's all about dinner and bath time and bedtime and all of those things that, as parents, we all know they kick off and they take a few hours and then, like, it's this whirlwind, right? So I try to get time with my kids where my husband's not home, we're not making dinner, I can spend these this hour and a half or this two hours, and I can be really fully engaged with you. And during that time, I power down. So make clean breaks in your schedule. Decide what schedule works for you, even if it seems absurd, and then stick to it. Because kids and consistency, right? It's like kid parenting 101 to be consistent, but that's harder. You know, it's easier to talk about all that than to actually do it. But with working from your home, you have to. You have to be really, really disciplined because those signals can get really, really mixed up with your kids, right? Like my, you know, I have had my children say to me, well, it's always work with you, mom. And it's not always work with me. But I've learned that the more consistent I can be, the more consistent that their expectations of me are more consistent as well. The takeaway they, is give yourself a break, right? Kids are resilient. Caring is more than half the battle. And, you know, make it a priority to talk with other working from home parents like me so that you never feel like you're the only one because you're not. Um, you're definitely not the only one. So never, ever feel that so way. So don't forget, please, like my channel, subscribe to me, and don't forget to click the bell because I'm going to be putting out a series of videos very regularly, probably one every work day for the next 90 days or so as we prepare Scholistic to hit the scene in the fall and help out all of you moms and dads out there who care what homework your kids have and want to keep track of it. So like, subscribe, hit the bell, and hopefully I can teach you a little code, teach you a little bit how I manage my work and home life.